When you first log into your Active Pipe account, you'll be taken to the dashboard and asked to add some contacts. Your contacts can be uploaded via a CSV file. To do so, click on Add Contacts. You can then either drag and drop your CSV file or click on the link here to locate it from your computer. Select that and then you'll be told that the file that you've, you've chosen is ready for import. Click Import Contacts. You will then be asked to verify that the columns you have in your CSV match up with the columns we've assigned it to in ActivePipe. So first name, last name, email. You can also put in custom fields. To do so, click Create Custom Field and give it the appropriate name and click Save. Do that for any custom fields you like. And once you're happy with the assignment, click Continue. Next, you'll be asked to review your contacts. Here you have a few options. Uh, you'll always see down the bottom here that update existing contacts is ticked. We recommend that you keep that ticked. This means that if you have any new uh, CSV uploads when a contact is already existing in your account, it will update them if there's any new contact information in the CSV. You also have the option to unsubscribe all contacts that are not a part of this import. And thirdly, you could also save all the contacts in this new import as an audience. So if we tick that and give it a name, that will create a new audience from this upload. Next, finish importing. And then you'll see we've got an import overview. We've got five successful uploads, five new uploads, um, all successful. There was zero existing in the account to be updated. Uh, and we have a total of five now.